Hey, it's Bruce from Gilware. Today I'm going to talk about inaccessible hard drive boot device. Uh, you may have come across this in the past. Uh, we, we hear about it from customers. Essentially, a message they get is default boot device missing or boot failed. Uh, nice little blue box, plain text. Uh, essentially, the computer is not detecting the hard drive. Or it may detect a hard drive, but that's all it can do. It's just a, a, essentially a wall is put there. It's like, I know someone's knocking at the door, but I, I can't see who it is. Some of the causes for this could be a logical issue or firmware issue. Uh, maybe the firmware became corrupted. Uh, the firmware essentially is used to make a handshake with the computer and uh, so the computer and hard drive uh, function together. Could be a component failure. Maybe the, uh, the read-write heads are going bad. And, and you, when something like that happens, you don't always hear the dreaded click of death. You don't always hear a lot of noise. Um, in some cases, there's two or three platters in a hard drive and there's uh, little sets of read-write heads uh, at top and bottom of each platter. Well, one of those heads may be may have gone bad and it can't read uh, the firmware on the drive to be able to communicate it uh, to the computer. So it doesn't have to be a catastrophic mechanical failure to uh, make a, a hard drive essentially there but not there to a computer. So if you run across this, obviously you always want to check cables first. Check your SATA cables. Just you know, check your physical cables and connections and everything first. But if you run into this, um, you, you getting into the firmware, uh, hard drive manufacturers don't like people getting into the firmware. Uh, your normal everyday run of the mill users getting into the firmware. Uh, in order to get into there, you need to know what you're doing, you know how to get in there and you have to have the software and the tools to be able to, to make any fixes. So it's in this case, or if it is a read write head going uh, bad, the hard drive needs to be opened up in a clean room environment um, at, a, at a data recovery lab in order to inspect those read write heads and replace them if needed in order to get that drive to where once it's hooked up, um, it, it can be seen and the computer can know what it is and then that data can be uh, taken, getting off of there. So um, essentially that's it in a nutshell. Read the article below a little more in depth and about the case study that we did get it, uh, that this is regarding. And um, if you have run into this uh, currently, like I said, read below. Uh, there's a button there you can press to start the process of getting that drive in here for a, a free in-lab evaluation. Uh, we'll take a look at it, let you know what we find out. Um, or if you have any questions, you want to talk to someone on the phone, uh, our phone number can be easily be found as well. All right, thank you.